please check out our Facebook Varun Lahaprasit or New Hope International Church. YouTube New Hope English, Instagram New Hope International Church, and TikTok New Hope International. Greeting from the Acro Corinth, in the city of Corinth in Greece. Psalm chapter 119, verse 11. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. I believe that you will receive the word of God through this teaching and you will put the word of God in your heart and you will practice what you learn. We will see you in the teaching. May the Lord bless you. Job chapter 22, verse 28, the Bible say, You will also declare a thing and it will be established for you so light would shine on your ways. My brother and sister, we're going to pray together. We're going to declare the promises of God, the character of God, the way of God in our life. We declare the mind of Christ. And the Bible says, it will be established for you. We declare by speaking, by praying, by faith. We're going to do that together in this session. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21, Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and those who love it will eat its fruit. We're going to declare with our mouth out loud that God can hear us, and when we declare the promises of God, the Word of God, the will of God, we're going to receive life, and we're going to see the power of God working in our life. We will see success, breakthroughs, healing, and victory. You do know that your words have power. Proverbs chapter 18, 21 say that death and life are in the power of the tongue. First John chapter 4, verse 19 say, we love him because he loved us first. So we're going to declare right now and pray that we will experience the love of God. No matter what happened to us, we're going to have faith and confidence in the love of God and we shall experience the love of God all the days of our life. In Romans chapter 8, 38 and 39, the Bible says, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. First John chapter 4, verse 19 say, We love Him because He first loved us. So all these scriptures say that God loved us so much. And we're going to declare that we will love God because He first loved us. And we're going to declare that His love for us is unconditional and never changing. There's nothing can separate us from the love of God. Father, we pray together right now. We declare with our mouth, with our tongue, that you love us and we shall experience the love of God. Sometimes we may make wrong decisions, make mistakes, but your love will cover our multitude of sin. You always forgive us, Lord. And Lord, we believe because of your love, you forgive us and we can see your grace. We can experience your mercy, your goodness, Lord. Help us, Lord. Because of your love, you will correct us and warn us and you discipline us, Lord. Lord, we believe that you love us, therefore, we shall experience victory. And victory comes from you. You will fight the battle for us. Lord, because you love us, you forgive our sin and you give us the second chance, the third chance, the fourth chance. And you always show your mercy to us when we make mistakes or we do dumb things and we have bad attitude. You still patient with us. You love us and you care for us and you help us to come out from the pit. Lord, help us to love you as well, Lord. We want to love you more and more each day. Help us, Lord, in this generation to love Jesus with all our heart. We love the Father and the Holy Spirit. May your Holy Spirit pour your love into our heart that we're going to walk in love all the time. We will love even our enemies. We love those who are not lovely and we forgive people, Lord. Thank you so much, Lord. Let us experience your unconditional, amazing, unfailing love, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. James chapter 1, verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, 
Let him ask of God, who gives to you all liberally, without reproach, and it will be given to him. God say, ask for wisdom. James chapter three verse seventeen. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality and without hypocrisy. Let us declare. That we are receiving an abundant supply of supernatural wisdom and understanding from above, from God. We will know how to apply God's word accurately in every situation, and we are receiving godly wisdom that is so pure, peaceable, gentle, unwavering, willing to yield without hypocrisy. Father, I pray with my brothers and sisters right now. We're gonna have. Supernatural wisdom from above. Help us to have a pure heart and a peaceful life. Help us to be gentle and willing to yield. And we are not a hypocrite, Lord. Father, we need wisdom all the time from you. The wisdom to understand your word. The wisdom how to answer question, how to resolve the problem in life, how to walk our life to the victory every day. Lord, you are generous. You're going to give us supernatural wisdom beyond our understanding. Lord, help us to have wisdom in every aspect of life, in our profession, our job, our life of service to you, our parenting, our marriage, our relationship with people, at work, how to manage the finances, manage our time and energy, wisdom in traveling, wisdom in every way. We need your wisdom 24/7. Lord, fill us with the spirit of wisdom. Guide us. We are not going to depend on our own intellect, our own smartness. We're going to depend on your wisdom. We believe, Lord, that your wisdom is going to help us to be successful, to be prosperous, and to be fruitful for your kingdom and give you all the glory, Father. Oh Lord, wisdom from you is so precious, more precious than gold. We need the wisdom from you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Yeah, I believe that you shall experience the love of God, and you shall grow in your walk of love, and you shall know and have confidence that God loved you so much. He will give you a second chance, a third chance, and you shall walk in the wisdom of God all the days of your life. Keep praying, keep asking for more love, more wisdom every day, and I believe and declare, you shall walk in. Success and prosperity, and fruitfulness. I believe the Lord will pour His love into your heart, and you shall love Him more, love yourself more, and love your neighbors as yourself. And the wisdom of God will guide you every single minutes, every single day. God loves you so much. You ask, it will be given to you, and that's why we declare together and we pray together in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Please come back into this series again, praying God' promise, and we're gonna pray together on a regular basis. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for listening to the whole teaching. I believe the Lord is so proud of you, and He will bless you so much because you are the seeker of the truth of God. May the Lord give you anointing, power, and grace to practice what you learn, and you shall be the blessing to the nations. I would like to invite you to listen to other teachings in this series and other series as well. Believe that the Word of God is the medicine to your life, and you shall be healthy and strong. God bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that you are healed from sickness and disease. In the name of Jesus Christ, your curses are broken. You are free from the bondage, and you will be filled with the blessing of Abraham that will overtake you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command that the poverty have to leave you, and God's blessing come upon you. May the Lord shower into your life His grace, His blessing, His joy, His faith, His goodness. His favor, and you shall know the Lord your God in the intimate way. You will be the people of faith that the Lord will answer your prayer 
and God will get all the glory. I command that the mountain in your life must be made flat, and you shall have supernatural breakthroughs in your life. The provision, the healing, the victory of the kingdom of God shall follow you, and you shall be His witness in this generation. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jehovah. Amen.